Hey guys, thanks for watching Beyond Science, it's Mike Chen. It's probably weird to think that there are rivers, lakes, and even waterfalls within our oceans, but they do exist because water density can change due to water temperature and sailing levels. And researchers have recently discovered another one of these ocean lakes, this time at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. But this lake, it's a bit different, because researchers noticed that most of the sea creatures that wander into the lake did not come back out. This lake lies nearly 3,300 feet below the surface, is about 100 feet in circumference, about 12 feet deep, and it looks like an underwater graveyard littered with bodies of sea creatures that had wandered inside due to its warm water temperature. According to a report in the Journal of Oceanography, the water in the lake within the sea, also dubbed the Jacuzzi of Despair, is about five times as salty as the water surrounding it. The water also has a high toxic concentration of methane and hydrogen sulfide, which is why it does not mix with the surrounding waters. It's dubbed a jacuzzi because water temperature inside the lake is 65 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like a hot tub compared to waters around it. This deadly lake was likely formed as seawater seeped into the cracks in the seabed and mixed with the region's subsurface salt formations. Methane gas then bubbled up, taking the deadly water with it. Next up, let's talk about dark matter. Dark matter is something we've never seen, but we think dark matter makes up of around 27% of the universe. Although we've never seen it, researchers think it's there because of the gravitational effects it has on matter that we can see. But according to a new paper by Professor Eric Verlinde from the University of Amsterdam, dark matter does not exist, and apparently neither does gravity. According to Professor Verlinde, gravity is not a fundamental force of nature after all, but rather an emergency phenomenon. He says our current ideas about space, time, and gravity urgently need to be rethought. We have long known that Einstein's theory of gravity cannot work with quantum mechanics. At large scales, it seems gravity just doesn't behave the way Einstein's theory predicts. Next, a mysterious sound is coming from the ocean floor and nobody knows what it is. In northern Canada, a pinging sound can be heard in the region throughout the summer. The source of the sound is still a mystery with explanation explanations ranging from mining to submarines to environmental activists using the sound to scare away wildlife in the area so Inuits won't be able to hunt them. The Canadian military is also aware of the noise and says it's looking into it. Internal correspondence between the sources in the Department of National Defense obtained by CBC News suggests submarines were not immediately ruled out but were also not considered a likely cause. So I don't know, if not subs, then maybe Santa's workshop getting ready for Christmas. And finally, are you sick of exams and all that memorization and stress? Don't you wish people could just realize your genius without having to force you to solve math problems? Well, some scientists seem to agree with this because researchers from King's College London have used a new genetic scoring technique to predict academic achievement from DNA alone. The research is based on a recent genome-wide association study that examined almost 10 million single nucleotide polymorphisms, which are the most common type of genetic variations among people. And they have identified 74 genetic variants that were significantly associated with years of completed education. Their findings show that what makes students achieve differently in their educational achievement is strongly affected by DNA differences. On average, those with a higher polygenic score would obtain a grade between A and B, whereas those with a lower score obtained an entire grade below. Of course, this does not take into account of effort, and we all know that just because you're talented doesn't make you successful. So to summarize, in this video, we covered a super dangerous lake in the ocean that would melt you. Gravity may just be an illusion. Something is scaring away all the fish in northern Canada, and DNA testing may replace SATs in the future. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. See you.